As prayers rung out over Mogadishu on Friday afternoon, smoke from one of two car bombs filled the air. Al-Shabaab targeted Somalia's intelligence headquarters, then parliament. Gunshots peppered the air near the presidential palace for hours after the bombs went off. Ambulances ferried the injured the 20-minute drive to Medina Hospital, one of two major hospitals in the capital. It specialises in trauma medicine, in part because of the doctor's vast experience with blast injuries and gunshot wounds over the last 20 years. We received 12 wounded people in total. Five of them succumbed to their injuries. The other seven survived. As the night wore on, the death toll rose. Numbered corpses slowly replaced by the names of people. I was thrown to the ground, but I was lucky to survive. There was smoke everywhere. When I stood up, I saw people lying on the ground. I didn't know if they were dead or injured. Al-Qaeda linked Al-Shabaab once controlled large swaths of Somalia, but was pushed out of major cities more than six years ago. The group has developed a consistent tactic since, vehicle bombs supplemented with gun battles. The last attack was at a police training centre in Mogadishu in December. 18 officers died. The most deadly in the nation's history was in October. A truck bomb detonated at a busy intersection in Mogadishu. 512 people died. More than 1,500 children were orphaned by the attack. Al-Shabaab's motivations are consistent. They want to overthrow the UN-backed government and impose strict Islamic law. And this is the cost of their crusade. We came from the beach, me and my two brothers. We were near the hotel when the explosion happened. I survived, but my two brothers died. Security in Somalia is an international effort. The African Union has some 22,000 troops in the country. Last year, the US boosted soldiers on the ground and drone strikes, while the government sacked security bosses, its police commissioner and minister of defence. The agencies taking responsibility for attacks, they can't seem to stop. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.